Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I have great news if you're a Microsoft Excel user. Microsoft Excel has something called Dynamic Array Functions. These are really cool functions. I'm about to do one called the Sort Function. But here's the good news. These functions only work if you're an Office 365 subscriber. And you may, may not have them yet, but you will if you're an Office 365 subscriber. But what I just realized this weekend is these work on Excel for the web. So if you have Excel 2019 or Excel 2016, these functions will not be available to you, but you should be able to get them through your Office 365 Excel on the web. I'm sorry, Microsoft 365 Excel on the web. They changed the name recently. So let me go and do this sort function. But in the next week or so, I'm going to do sort, filter, unique, and sort by, and there's a couple others. I already have videos on these, so I'm not going into a deep dive. I'll put the links to all the other videos I've already made down below, and they work the same whether you're on the desktop version or on the web version. So just to prove this works even with a free account, so if you don't want to watch me sign in, I'll put timestamps below, but you can fast forward if you want to watch me sign in. Here's a free account I have. So I'm in office.com. I'm going to go to Excel. I'm in my free account. I'm going to open up a new blank workbook and type it, but I've already typed this so you don't have to watch me. So here we go right now. I'm going to go ahead and cover the sort function. So I have a list of data starting in A1 that runs through H15. Row 1 is my header row. I want to sort this by customer number, which it may or may not already be sorted that way. I'm going to do this in cell K2. Equals, then the word sort. You can also just double click it right here. What do you want to sort? I'm going to pick A2 through H15. I could have done H2 through D15 if I wanted to. I'm done. When I press enter, it's going to fill in all of it. Watch this. There is your sort function. And it did sort by customer number. So if I come over here to this data, and I say I want to sort it. I'm going to do an A to Z, so it should sort by first name, and it did. It doesn't matter that I sorted this by first name. This is still sorted by customer number. I will test this later, but I'll go ahead and tell you, you can put this on another worksheet with no problem. Let's do this again. I'm going to delete it. What's cool about dynamic array in K2 is the formula. If I go to K3, Notice in the formula bar, it's grayed out. Same with K4, anywhere in here. So delete it, you go to K2, delete. So this time I'm going to do the sort function. I want to sort by advertising source, which is column F. So equals sort. By the way, it does not pick up the header row in case you're wondering why. I would have to copy and paste that. The sort function has three arguments. I'm on the first one, which says array, comma. All the rest are not required. What do you want to sort by? It says sort index. By the way, the sort function has four arguments. Now that I'm looking at that. What do you want to sort by? The sort index, uh, advertising source is the one, two, three, four, five, six column over. That's it. So I have the advertising source, Chris Menard, which is here. Then Facebook, then Google Ads, on and on. Watch this. I change Chris Menard to Microsoft. And it immediately updates over here on the right. Really cool. One more time. Again, just from scratch, the sort function. Again, I'm going to pick up every, all my data, comma, what do you want to sort by? I want to sort by something numeric, which is purchases to date. So that should be the eighth column, comma. 
what sort order do you want to use? The number one is ascending. So I should get everything sorted, but it should sort by purchases lowest to highest. 439 before 486. Just to test it real quick. 439 before 486. I'm just going to edit the formula with a double click. If you want to sort in descending order, it is a negative one. 1151 before 1119 over in column R. There is your sort function. Last thing to show you, if I did it over here, I'll put the header row there equals sort. I'm going to go to customers. I'm going to highlight it all. I'm just going to sort by the default, press enter. There you go. What's nice is this. One more cool trick. If I come over and make my range a table, that is insert table, hit OK. I add the customer 3001. I'm making up this name. I don't care about the rest. Watch this. Back to sheet one. It automatically picks it up in your sort function because it's a table. Anyway, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will cover the unique dynamic array function, the filter dynamic array function, and the sort by dynamic array function using Excel on the web in the next week. Thank you.